Hi, it's April 4th and it's time to vlog again. I have the perfect topic too because I wanted to tell you something. Something I've been thinking about for quite a while. I, la not last, but the previous, you know, before this, the previous Olympics, I realized something that I have a passion for figure skating. And it, it hit me smack in the face because I realized that I always, I always have in one way or another. When I was a kid, I used to love watching pair skating. I used to like romanticize it a lot, actually. Um, but that's pretty true because you have like this connection between the two partners and their skating, and it can be so full of breeze and wonder and and beauty and the flowing dresses and you know. So to me, I saw I saw a fairy tale. That was my fairy tale, and I loved it. And uh, since then, I love single skating, pair skating, ladies, men. It doesn't matter. I love it. I love figure skating, and uh, during and after that, those you know, Olympic Games, I realized that that I feel like I'm meant for it. I haven't been ice skating since I was a little girl, so I decided that I want to learn again. I'm not gonna have to be practicing figure skating, not now nor ever. Um, and I hardly, when I say that I love figure skating, I hardly know anything about it at all. But I, I love it and I think I love it so much because it it represents a lot of what I am or what I want to be. Like I'm so I'm so dorky and silly and nerdy and the sport is actually, to be honest, a really silly sport. Um, and I know that a lot of people make fun of it because it's like little tutus and they're just dancing around with a glitter on the eyes. Like, yeah, but you know what? It also takes a really lot of hard work and I think that really and it has this beauty and grace, or it can be really cool, you know, and... And I think I love ice skating so much because I have this heart and lung condition, among other things, and for me, ice skating, once you on the ice and you have the speed and the momentum, you can just glide on the ice without having to do much, and it's just like... It's like flying. I think that's why I love biking so much, because getting on a bicycle for me when I was a kid meant that the same effort it took at, to walk, if I just did the same, just very slow biking is still like 10 times faster than me walking. So it was like flying, it was something, it's something to to move easily forward and feel like it's easy and, and wonderful. And you know, I tried to rub in a couple of friends, it didn't work because they didn't really own skates and it never happened. But I wished for skates about three years ago and when I got really into it. And for Christmas, mother actually bought me a pair of ice skates. So I forced her, because I wanted to skin on smooth ice, so I forced her to take me to, to the rink when they have open house for the public. And they have that a couple of times a week. And we went once, and I wobbled around like a little toddler, but it was still the most fun that I've ever had. And after that, we never went again, because she was very, you know, are you done soon? And I didn't want to bother her. But I, I, I tried to ask a couple of friends, but they didn't even own skates, and it never happened. And I thought about going alone, but I'd have to take the bus. I would feel a little awkward and embarrassed, to be honest, and just a little scared in general because, you know, and bored because doing things alone can be boring. And now I have finally roped in a friend of mine after three years. I haven't been actively trying because when I realized that I couldn't go alone, that I couldn't force myself to do that because I felt too scared or embarrassed or bored, I thought, this is the thing I want to do. Learn how to ice skate. And I can't even do that. So it was a burden for me. It was full of anxiety. So that made me avoid it even more. But now, through pure chance, I've sort of roped in a friend of mine and she got another friend. And she has a pair of skates, she doesn't, but she's gonna buy a pair, a very cheap pair, because just recreational skating a couple of times, you know, so we don't need super fancy stuff. And I have my pair. So on Sunday, we're gonna go ice skating, but I'm scared. I'm scared that I have made it out to be this amazing, magical thing. I looked forward to it, you know. You could say that I've been looking forward to going a second time for three years, and now it's finally happening, and I'm, a part of me doesn't really believe it, but thinks maybe you won't go. Because you, you look forward to things and, you know, it falls through. And I don't really believe that, but the second part is more likely. We'll go, but I won't have as much fun. 
Why? Why wouldn't I? I'm just scared. So, what do I do? What? I'm, uh, hmm. I'm really scared, really, that I'm gonna go and not have a lot of fun. Uh, or maybe that I know that this won't be true. I know it in, in my heart. But what if I go there and I'm, I'm a toddler stuffling around like blah, 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 wobbling. And they're super good at it. What if I get jealous? What if I start feeling like, here's just another thing I can't do because of my crap body and crap everything, you know? I know I won't feel that way once I'm there, so I try to focus on that. I try to think that, you know, it's not true. But it's really rough, you know? I don't know. I'm scared of going there and it not being, you know, what I expect it to be. But it's gonna be fun and I'll obviously get some video of it. <laughs> so I'm just scared, especially since I've been working so hard trying to stretch and do things. And I've changed the way I stand and my posture in a week, something that I've been trying to do with physical therapy on and off since I was like 16. So that's how much it means to me. I changed my life in a week, something that I've been trying to do for 10 years. So, you know, <laughs> Kind of high stakes here. <laughs> That's why I'm terrified. I mean, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be okay, right? Mm. Hope so. Bye.